join. Okay, unmute your speaker. Okay. That can't be good. Oh. Actually, you know what? Choose virtual background and do this. Yeah, no, no, okay. Okay, so that should be good. Um, let's see. Sorry if you hear a lot of knocking right now.
One second. I'm just going to make some coffee real quick. Note to viewers, do not grab a hot coffee pot. Don't recommend it. Okay, so let's grab my glasses, headphones, put them on. Okay, so where's my, oh, there's my phone, okay. So let's see, is anyone in here? Okay, let's uh, wait for people to get in here. Okay, right. Apologies, just going. Okay. Dealing with some technical issues here. Um, okay. And I apologize if you're hearing um, a lot of noise. Um, I still haven't quite zeroed in on um, what makes, so I, I, I use, let's go back here. I'm using this, it's a PreSonus Revelator. Um, no, sorry. Um, let's just take off that virtual background. Yeah, okay. Welcome to my humble abode. Uh, okay, what was the authentication code? Okay. Moment. Okay. And is there a lot of gain on that, or is my monitor just really high? I don't. Yeah, I don't know if that's what it is. I just, man, I, I have a feeling it is because, so for anyone who is um, here, let me see if I can't, okay. Let's see if I can't uh, ring up. Okay, so it's just me. Um, so if anyone's listening and can hear a whine, let me know. Um, but but I can like hear a like very monitory thing. Maybe if I just go, maybe if I tilt it that way, maybe let's go down like that. Let's look at, I'm gonna look at my levels really quick. Um, 
because I normally don't do this, uh, but I decided today. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay. So okay, it, it's it's hovering about halfway. Okay, that's okay. Okay, that's fine for me. Um, okay. Let me see if everyone's seen it yet. And again, um, I do apologize for the very, 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 very short notice uh, on this. Um, I was writing up some, some things for the fundraiser and, um, and um, I, I saw it was 9.45 and I was like, oh, I better get on the podcast and let everyone find out on Zoom and kind of, let everyone uh, come in as they see uh, fit. So, apparently, people are talking outside. So, okay. Um, let's see. Just want to make sure I have everyone here. Um, Well, um, I'm still waiting for people. Um, this, this is probably my fault uh, for doing it this so um, uh, sorry, I get distracted. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Um, like the RV uh, just came in over there. Um, so just kind of squirreling all, all, all over the place. Um, all right, so I guess, I guess I should just get into it. Um, th this probably isn't gonna be much of a Q and A until people get here. Um, but I will just talk and if people come, people come. Um, again, my fault. I. Should have sent something out an hour ago um, to let people know, hey, uh, I'm here. Um, so anyways, um, yeah. Um, so first things first, I want to address something really quick. Um, um, the first thing I want to address is that I haven't posted this week. Um, I know I'd like to address that I haven't posted, that, that, that I don't post enough a lot. Um, I even wrote an uh, article uh, called Why I Haven't Been Writing um, a few months back. Um, just know it's not procrastination. Um, I have been watching all the Saw movies. Um, as um, not as requested, but um, 
as I've planned. Um, the main issue I have ran into this week um, is there's nine Saw films. Um, I forgot that there was nine Saw films. And I think the common problem I run into uh, with my weekly schedule is over planning. I think, oh, I can do five things a day, no problem. Um, but it is kind of a, sorry, I just wanna turn that up a little bit. Um, it is a little, it gets a little bit of a problem um, when we're talking about, hey, all these things that you have uh, show, told us uh, you're gonna do, you didn't do. Um, and I, I, I do, um, I don't hear that from people, but that's the voice I hear in my head. Um, but uh, just know that in regards to not posting, um, I'm working on it. Um, that's a, such a cliche thing to say, but um, yeah, I am working on it. Um, um, I, I, let's see, which, where am I at with Saw? Um, I've seen Saw, Saw's one through five. Um, saw Spiral last night. Um, I won't go too into that because I'll be reviewing that um, this upcoming week. Um, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, but I, I am, I've written part of my, the original Saw review. Um, it's just not ready yet. Um, I've, I'm about 400 words into the original Saw review. So yeah, that, my, my priority right now it, over the next week is going to get those out. Um, I'll probably do Spiral first since that's the first, um, the most free, uh, recent movie. Um, and people are just leaving today. Um, anyways, squirrel. Uh, so it, it, it is of my utmost importance to get this all to you as soon as possible. Um, I'm not flaking on anybody. Um, no, that isn't true. Um, as far as the podcast. Um, so I don't know if you follow me on Twitter. I think a lot of you do. Um, you've seen that a podcast editor platform uh, mentioned me or something. Um, today, if editing is a big problem for you, why don't you try us out? So I submitted um, uh, my the Awesome B Media podcast number three um, to them, along with a, um, I guess I should announce it here, um, since this is the patron, uh, patron hangout, um, that I'm going to be experimenting this month with patron only episodes where, um, where it'll be, uh, bonus episodes every week, um, that I kind of want to do. Um, where it'll be, I want to discuss something that I normally wouldn't even discuss on the podcast on the podcast proper because it's either rambling, me rambling about something. Excuse me. Maybe I need more coffee. Um, maybe it's me rambling about something and it's not necessarily news related, um, or it's just something that I don't think people th think of like. Or any, anyways, I've sent both of those to that. Um, editing platform thing um and yeah um they said it should i've already got transcripts for that um in the google drive in fact let me check real quick no nope, i did not mean to awaken the google sorry um and apologies if if anything Where's that coming from? I don't know. 
It wasn't my phone that did that. So let me see what happened. Because that sounded real nearby. My other phone here? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, that was weird. So let me just check something real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. Because, yeah, I don't have a deliverable yet. Okay, so um, they said, they. I talked to them today, um, earlier this morning actually. I've been working since about eight o'clock today. Um, more than I actually normally work. Um, just because, um, let's see, um, uh, um, they said they should have it within up to within 72 hours. Um, so I apologize for the delay on that. Um, I just kind of wanted to try them out. Um, so yeah, um, so that's why everything's kind of been not lately. <laughs> um not so um frequent lately uh let me make sure is anyone okay all right just poking around my laptop um so sorry if i'm scatterbrained um i didn't really have a plan uh for this um in regards to um, what I was going to say here, because usually I just talk with people. Um, so anyways, um, yeah. Um, so I'm starting to, to give you more updates. Um, I'm starting to finalize fundraising plans uh, for year two. Um, so Let's just pop into that doc. Let's just pop right into that doc. So I guess I should just announce it here. Um, let me just, never mind. Okay, so I can still see myself. Um, so let, let's discuss some things. Um, so I'm modeling, I've done a lot of research. Um, I've sourced from places, Patreon fundraisers like Kind of Funny, uh, Kind of Funny Games, uh, as well as some of my favorite podcasts like um, The Flop House, My Brother, My Brother and Me, et cetera, et cetera. Basically maximum fun, uh, that network. Um, so here's some details. Um, yeah, um, so roughly, um, my goal is to just earn as much as I can um, on, on this fundraiser, um, because what this fundraiser will be, um, will be fundraising all of year two. Um, however much I raise in this fundraiser will be funds I use directly towards things like advertising, paying for things I don't get for review, a web domain, a, a web domain uh, renewal. I mean, web web hosting, email, um, my social media calendars, uh, and equipment. Um, so, um, in, in that respect, there's no, I guess, target for me um, when it comes to that. I, I'm going to let you guys decide that, and whoever joins in. Um, so, um, because I have some stretch goals here um, that I think would be very helpful, um, but that I will not, basically this is, this fundraiser is for, um, how would I rephrase this? This would be stuff on top of what I do. Um, basically, I put all of my own, I, all of my money and all of the Patreon money goes, this would be on top of that. Um, 
So this would be almost like extra. Um, so yeah, um, basically some of my stretch goals are getting a edit, getting some editors around um, to edit my writing, edit the podcast, uh, graphic designer, uh, redesign the website, get new equipments like a business laptop. I'm, I'm using uh, the laptop I'm using for work is also my personal laptop. And um, as my hard drive, as my solid state drive can tell you, uh, it does not like that I use it for both um, because I've got some, a lot of games and movies installed on here um, or downloaded rather. Um, and yeah, it, it, my laptop does not like that um, <laughs> at all. I mean, it's fast, but um, I'd rather have a secondary laptop I could just take to just say, this is the Austin B Media laptop. Nothing else gets done on here. There's no, this is where I'm, I'll watch Netflix. This is where I'll watch my reviews, everything. Um, like, oh, sorry. Likewise, I will, another stretch goal would be for a new monitor, uh, uh, specifically a 4K monitor. Uh, the one I have right now is a 1080p one and it's pretty dinged up. It's actually one I'm pseudo borrowing um, from uh, my dad. Uh, so I kind of want to be able to just do that on my own. Um, I want to pick up a chair. Um, that sounds ridiculous, but hold on. Um, the chair I have right now, uh, I, I don't get to pick a chair right now. Uh, it's like a, it's literally called a church chair. It's a one, one of those banquet chairs you always see in banquets, you know, like you go to a banquet. Um, so I'd, I'd like something that supports my back because um, just back pain, <laughs> really, that's the gist of it. it so um, likewise, um, an, another one of my stretch goals it is for a green screen, a boom arm, reflection filter, so you don't hear as much echo as you're hearing right now. Um, you might not be hearing as much echo, but if I'm at where I work, this is not where I work. Um, I work elsewhere. Um, it's a lot of echoey. Uh, so let me demonstrate how, how much of a difference um, the reflection filter will make. So if I just talk over here, you can barely hear me. And that's basically what it sounds like all the time in, in, in the podcast I've, I've recorded. But if I go right here, there you go. Um, and the boom arm might help with that, um, basically be, because I, right now my microphone's down here. Like I'm, I'm about to touch the microphone. Yeah, you hear that? I just touched the microphone. Um, and basically I, I, I'm turning the gain up to a, an obnoxious level on the microphone and I don't want to have to do that because maybe somebody else is in the workspace where I'm at and I just want to have something where I can just go like that and see how much nicer that sounds. I'm putting my hands behind the microphone. That's basically what the reflection filter does. Um, another thing uh, will be um, a 64 gigabyte Apple TV 4K from my digital screeners. Um, there are things that I have to watch via apps that are not available on websites um, and only available on iOS, specifically tvOS in this case. Um, so that would be something. I also get a lot of physical screeners. Um, in fact, so one second. Oh, that is really loud. So I got this, Raya and the Last Dragon, um, from Film Independent. And so this is just a Blu-ray. I, I normally only get the Blu-ray copies. Um, yeah, I, I, that's what I got for Tenant. That's what I got for um, Move On. Is it raining outside? I guess it's raining outside. Who knew? Um, anyways, uh, look out for this, by the way. Um, I don't even know if I'm supposed to reveal that I have this, 
I think it's coming out next week. Uh, I hope it is because otherwise, I, I, I mean, I didn't see any NDA, but anyways, I'll be giving this away um, next month. Anyways, uh, so in order to request uh, uh, 4K copies, I'm gonna need a 4K Blu-ray player, which I do not have right now. Um, so that's another stretch goal. And lastly, um, no, I, actually, I don't, I don't need this last one, so. Anyways, um, last thing is, I'm sure you're wondering, when does this fundraising start? And what does it mean for you guys? Um, so, sorry about that. I have not eaten breakfast yet. I know it's 1027 here, but yeah. Um, you do not want, want to hear me eating breakfast in those microphones. It's gonna just, anyways. Um, fundraising is gonna start on June 1st. Live streams every Saturday that I don't, you know, do not have any of these patron hangouts. Um, so I think three live streams uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, think of it like if you've ever watched a extra live stream, you're gonna get gifts. Um, I'm arranging stuff for that. Um, one of the, one of those things will be this, um, and yeah, um, yeah. That's all the details I have right now about um, the fundraiser. Um, I'm still developing. Um, I might um, ha have a thing where I live record a podcast episode. I don't know. Um, it all depends. It's still, it's still um, in the pro planning process. Um, it is raining. I can hear that in my mouth. My headset. So, anyways, um, so yeah. Let's see. Um, real quick, I'm just gonna check something and see. Okay. So, all right, um, so that's really all I have to say for this part one of the patron hangout, um, because I mean, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I, I really hope that despite how little I've been posting this week, I, I generally plan on, my general plan has been, let's, let's talk about that. Um, my general plan has been at least doing a post once a day. Um, so that'd be seven posts. That does not include patron only posts um, and does not include this. Um, in fact, let me get right back. I'll be right back. One second. Okay, so a few months ago, sorry, just bumping the mic. Um, so a few months ago, I bought this Cat Gaskins content planner. I had actually been, I'm actually planning a review, but I will not be reviewing this until I finish it. Um, I don't, I don't think three months is uh, suitable enough, suitable enough time to. Um, review something um like i i haven't reviewed these headphones and i've gotten the i got these months ago um so anyways let me put that down there sorry for the noise um so yeah this is what a typical day looks like um let's, let's stop pulling on me okay this is how much I overplan. Um, you can't read any of this, but, but I usually try and fill all that out. I have since realized I'm a bit of a psychopath. Um, I should really just be planning that, just one thing, one or two things. Um, and what I end up doing 
is I plan five things. So, so wow, that is really loud. Um, okay, let me see if I can. There, there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah. Um, what was I talking about? So yeah, instead of um having seven posts, that's what. Um, sorry for rocking the monitor. Um, I'm using my webcam, by the way. Um, okay, let's see. That's about 25. So you could, I mean, that's like what? Um, yeah, that's 300, 300, wait, oh, sorry. Yes, that's uh, 300, I do not math good. Um, anyways, the point is having, oh, sorry. Um, the um, point is, sorry, uh, doing 25, 26 posts in a week is not probably healthy. Um, so my plan, wow, that, so, sorry it's so loud, uh, uh, that the rain is so loud. Literally the, the rain here, I kid you not, it, it, if the first time I heard it, I thought it was hail. But no, if, you, if I spun you around, I won't because it'll be whatever. Um, um, it, it, it honestly sounds like hail it, 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 and has ever, every time I've been out there. So I guess I don't have to clean outside. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but anyways, uh, getting back to the matter at hand. So essentially what, okay, so let's go. So since this is part one of a two thing, um, so let's talk about um, kind of my goals for the next half of the month. Um, so the next, so next week, I want to have seven posts out, not including patron only posts. I want to have seven posts out. That's the bare minimum for me. Um, if, 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 and if I'm doing the math, okay, so I've got, I've already seen spiral. So let me open up my handy dandy planner. Um, okay, so yeah, so okay. So I can watch, so I, I figured out a formula. Um, it's really cool. Um, I can watch four movies in a day. So if I were, I've, I've seen up to Saw 5 now and Spiral. Um, I saw, I think I saw Saw 3, 4, 5 and Spiral last night. Yeah, I saw Saw's 3, 4, 5 and then Spiral right, pretty much right after. I mean, I finished Saw 5 around 5 um, and then my screening of Spiral from the Book of Saw, well, not, not screening, um, that got kind of complicated. I didn't, I had, I did pay for that on my own dime. Uh, I figured out that the, that the uh, regular, um, the theater I go to, which is about an hour away, um, was playing it last minute. I was going to go about two hours away. Um, but if I can only go an hour, that's good for me. Um, anyways, um, let's get to it. Um, so if I've seen Saw 5, I could see it, th today's kind of an off day for me. Uh, and it'll, it'll be off tomorrow. Um, and by off day today, I mean, uh, I've, I've got to, I've got to do chores around the house. So I've, I've got to, I've got to clean this floor. Um, I shouldn't turn away from the mic when I'm saying that. I've got to clean the, uh, the floor today. I've got to do dishes because I didn't have time to do dishes last night um, because I literally 
went from work to dinner to um, the movie. Um, and then right back, got back at like 10 o'clock or something like that, 10, 10, 10 o'clock, something like that. Yeah, um, somewhere around there. Um, anyways, um, thank, uh, so I can, I think I can watch Saw 6 and Saw the Final Chapter, otherwise known as Saw 3D. When I saw it, it, it was called Saw 3D. Um, and then uh, start writing my spiral review and put out the ranking list. Um, so that should be done, that should be all done by Monday, which is when I'll put out my weekly schedule and my uh, uh, newsletters. Um, And also for those who are curious, I did not get this in Colorado. It is a cheap, cheap screen print. See all that? Somebody just literally, somebody literally just took a photo and printed it onto this mug. It's, it was like five bucks. It was like five bucks or something from a truck stop. So, but it, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Like, so anyways, um, so yeah, my goal for the next week, um, I want to finish up all the saw reviews by Tuesday, viewings by Tuesday, have my spiral review out Monday. Um, I still, here's what I still need to review. I still need to, here, let me bring that closer. I uh, still need to review Promising Young Woman, 22 versus Earth. Uh, do, do, do. Star Wars The Bad Batch episodes one through three. Uh, I think I'm going to drop my Star Wars Rebels op-ed. I think that's just, I don't have time for that anymore. Um, I've got to review the digital version of Judas and the Black Messiah. Um, one Night in Miami. Let me, let me see if I can. Let's see if this, hold on, let, let me, let me move you. Down. Sorry for the noise, but this will make it better. Um, so yeah, then One Night in Miami, Wolfwalkers, Lucy the Human Chimp, uh, finish up the Wolf, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, I think Street Gang, How We Got to Sesame Street is out now, so I can review that. Uh, together, Together. Um, do, 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 do. Um, reviews of Assembled the Making of WandaVision and Assembled the Making of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I've got to get my hands on the Waterman. Um, found out last minute, found out last minute that is not playing near me. Um, so I'm kind of, I've got to get with RLJE Entertainment and uh, see what that's all about. Um, that damn Michael J. Um, Love Death and Robots Volume 2, my Spotify picks, uh, Scott Pilgrim, the game review, Mauritanian review, land review, um, High School Musical, the musical, the series, season two, episode one, uh, Damn Michael J. Episode two, Spotify picks, weekly recap. Nest review, supernova review. Okay, so let's actually let's. Um, other than that, I, I want to um, show you something. I'll, I'll show some things real quick. Like maybe, maybe, because I could just list off things, and um, but it doesn't really mean anything if I don't. Um, Show you what's upcoming too. Okay, so do do do. Okay. Okay, so this week I have sent out for the following films. Uh, Spiral from Book of Saw, that did not pan out. I had to go see it myself. Um, let's move you back over here. Hold on a second. I muted you. 
Okay, I had to mute you real quick because I. It, it seems like whenever I I move this thing, um, it, it it this thing is, so. Let me show you. This stand. This is the attachment point. Um, so, and I mean, I could unscrew this and just hold it, but um, I don't think anyone would like that. Um, anyways, um, this that's actually nicer. I think about it. Maybe not, maybe I don't. I can I can probably eliminate that reflection thing if I just hold it right here. Although my uh, arm will probably get tired here pretty soon, and you can hear the creaking. Um, anyways, um. So yeah, here's what I sent out for this week. Um, Spiral from the Book of Saw. Uh, I messaged the Lionsgate. Um, they asked where I was um, and I hadn't heard back from them. So I'll just assume, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll email them today and let them know that I have seen it um, on my own. Um, or, you know, just ask for an update, I don't know. Um, I requested Zola and the Green Knight from um, A24. How it ends, uh, I've already seen this film uh, at Sundance, but when I saw that MGM picked it up, I kind of wanted to see it again. So you'll see a lot of those, those Sundance, films I saw from Sundance start popping up. I mean, I saw Street Gang and Together Together at um, Sundance, but um, those will be but, uh, but I, I think since it's been at least three, four months. Wow, has it really been four months since Sundance? Oh, hold on. Hold on. What's going on? What happened? Waiting? Hold on, one second, everybody. One second. Okay, what happened? Okay. One second, everybody. One second, everybody. I'm trying to. Trying to. How do I? Okay. Um. Um, one second, everybody. Trying to diagnose something that happened. Okay. Maybe if I go Meetings. No contacts. Hmm. How do I?
shouldn't be waiting on. Shouldn't be waiting. Apologies, I'm just trying to get um, somebody in. Um, make sure nothing's popping up on it. Huh. Okay. Maybe if I just hmm. I don't know how did I kick him? I hope I didn't. I hope I didn't. Oops, sorry. One second, everybody. I apologize if this looks boring. I'm just trying to get everyone in here. So change of plans, everyone. Uh, it looks like um, we're gonna have somebody joining here soon. Um, so yeah, I don't really wanna stop the Zoom meeting, uh, but um, so I'll just keep this running for as long as possible.
um, because I think Zoom allowed you, to, allowed you to go over, I don't know, um, but he should be here soon, so it's off. So in the meantime, um, yeah, good morning. Okay. Well, good morning. Good morning. I am uh, making breakfast. Yeah, I I should have before I did this. I, uh -huh. So like um um it was um I, I I've been working since about like nine. Uh huh. So my my brain just kind of went into tunnel vision mode. Um, and I was in the middle of uh, this and I was like, I, I could hear, uh, so this microphone has a monitor on it. Like I can hear myself speaking right now. Oh uh, no, that's no bueno. No, I mean, that's good for me to- Is it? Um, oh, yeah. It. Well, like it's good because like I have knobs here where I can just turn it down Oh um, wait, I have I, I have that one. Oh, for Christmas. Yep. That's what uh, I use. The uh, revelator. Yep. 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 Yeah, uh I'll have to th I'll have to thank uh Sweetwater on that one. Nice. Um I think Luke at Sweetwater, uh because I was like, I have no idea what I was doing what I'm doing. Uh, mm -hmm. I used to have, because I used to have a um use a blue snowball. For my podcast, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, super jank. <laughs> but I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. I need, I need, um, I need something where I can hear myself, where there's oh, no okay. delay. Um, oh, nice. Good. Yeah, it's a good one for that. I, I don't uh, like that feature, but um. yeah, like I. Well, and I think the cool thing is I can literally just go like this, and you can't hear me. Oh yeah. I mean, so yeah. Um, although it is a little touchy if you use the uh, standard uh, stand with it, because mm -hmm. like I can if, if yeah. I touch it, it's like yeah, it creates a there's a lot of noise that happens. And I asked the guy, should I get a shock mount? And he's like, no, it's good. So uh, yeah. Anyways. Oh, that's too bad. So anyways, uh, Reggie. Oh boy. You haven't Sorry. missed. Uh, no, you're good. Um, you haven't missed much. Um, I was just talking about I, um, the fundraiser I'm going to be doing next month. Oh, um, fun! Uh, um, and basically, what it is is mm -hmm. I, I'm not setting any goals uh, for it mm -hmm. because I kind of want it just to just be a on the top kind of thing. Uh, on top right. of Patreon and on top of all the stuff I do, and mm -hmm. you know, I it, it, it's it's um so I can you know buy stuff like hey I need this I need that you know mm -hmm. um right uh, um so I'm basically moder uh modeling it after the Max Fun stuff um Max yeah. Fun Drive um. Mm -hmm. Although I, I, I'm just like, hey, whatever I get, okay. Um, <laughs> because like yeah, I have money's money. Yeah, I mean, uh, because I, I've been uh, one of the things. It's basically taking my year two document that I have on my computer and saying, mm -hmm. okay, here are my goals. I um, see. Like I've been talking to a web designer. Um, mm -hmm. To, to, I've been talking to several actually to get quotes on the redesigned website. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that costs a lot. Oh yeah, web services are expensive in the marketing and SEO. Um, yeah. and that that itself can be expensive, and yeah, that is a, a hefty price tag. Yeah. So um, I know. I guess here's an update. I'm definitely yeah. moving to Squarespace. Oh, are um, you? I'm nice. fed up. 
I'm fed up with WordPress. Uh -huh. um, because I don't know if you've r run into this on Squarespace. I know moviesforreal.net is run on Squarespace. Just yeah. based on based on the overall look, there's a Squarespace uh -huh. look and there's a WordPress look. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, oh, what was it? Um, oh shoot! Whoa! Uh, but like, I'll, I'll be writing a post, and if I do, to, I, like, I have a ton of plugins. Like, I have an SEO plugin, right? Uh, um, where I customize how it looks on search engines and all that boring stuff um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and um it'll just cause a memory error it'll be like hey we lost your post uh do you want to oh, attempt no. well and it and it's a stupid message because i can hit literally hit control r and it's just still there oh so, interesting so it's just weird things that kind of make me mad <laughs> mm Hmm. And be careful with that knife. That's how my mom cut herself. Yeah, I know. Am I scaring people with this? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I'm just like, she had like a little tiny knife. Mm -hmm. um, and, and she was cut like cutting into the avocado and stuff. And it like it went cut through. through the peel. Yeah. It went mm. straight through and like a, a gash like went straight across. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fortunately, I mean, this is just a little dull thing, but anyway, appreciate the concern. Yeah, uh, um, but you go ahead. Yeah, no, I think that you'll find a lot of benefits to Squarespace. I, I, actually, one of the things that I didn't like about it that most people probably will like about it is that the templates um, are very robust. Like, I think they have quite the variety of templates. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just not a template person. I hate, I hate using templates, and so customizing a template um, to something that was unique was a little more challenging than I than I preferred. Um, but um, but if you don't mind templates and you want something that looks cool and, and works without a whole bunch of effort on your part, <clears throat> sorry, then uh, then yeah, it works. And I mean, it's essentially the same thing as WordPress. Um, in many respects, it costs the same amount a year. It you know, mm -hmm. um, I guess the main thing is. My, my main pain point is Patreon integration. Oh, interesting. Like, I have a Patreon plugin on WordPress, mm -hmm. uh, but like, and I have posts synced, but they don't show up. Oh, huh. Like, I would love, um, the, I would love it to just say, hey, <laughs> like like if it's a patron only post mm -hmm. have, a, have the entire post grayed out in a preview and and mm -hmm. have a, a button that said become a patron to view this post Kinda oh like, that's cool uh, like a, that that's the dream at least would uh would the squarespace have a feature like that i haven't actually explored that kind of uh, uh thing the the web designer i'm talking to thinks there is with a plugin mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if I believe him, but <laughs> like one of the things I'm looking towards is customizable ads. I want to be able to place things. Like if you go to austin.media, mm -hmm. um, actually, I, I, th I think the main pain point is that if you go to Austin B Media, you have to mm -hmm. reload it. You have to reload it five times sometimes. Yeah, it, I, I have noticed that. Um... And that yeah. I think that's a memory error thing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Because like I can pull it up on my phone and the amp um uh, basically what's enabled on uh the mobile version of the site is amp. Mm -hmm. Which sometimes breaks my site as well. So there's that. <laughs> it, it, it's I literally uh had to oops, sorry about that. Um, oh, I literally cool. had to pay somebody uh, a few dollars to fix mm -hmm. it. Mm. That, so that was not fun. Anyways, sure. um, so that's one of the things um, I'm doing. Uh, unfortunately, um, something that did not happen this week. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you. I'm sure you've noticed. 
Um, but I did not post anything. Um, yeah, I did notice that. Except for the weekly schedule and the weekly newsletter. Right. That that was a time constraint thing. I oh, I sure. that because I have watched Saws one through five this week. Um, Which ones? Saws one through five. Oh my gosh! Please not. Did you go see the new one? Yes, I did. Oh boy. Did you, <laughs> what a doozy! What a doozy! Did you uh, see my tweet? No, I actually haven't really been on Twitter lately. That is also my own kind of time constraint. Okay. Thing. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'll be reviewing it Monday. Fingers yeah. crossed. I get I get done with Saw Seven or Jigsaw um, here soon. Um, mm-hmm. Because it's it's weird because I'm writing as I go, but also like trying to make time to watch watch these movies. So, yeah, that's I'm, the struggle. And I'm watching the director's cuts of them, oh, so man. it's so it's all like twenty minutes longer. So, yeah. fun. I do not recommend the uh, director's cut of Saw Two. I I do not re- recommend that. Um, that's too bad. Because that is the most horrific thing you've seen in your life. It's also, <laughs> it's also um, directed by the same guy who directed Spiral. Oh, well, that would make a whole lot of sense because Spiral was some shit. Really? <laughs> I mean, I don't... Like, my main, my main note, I think, was, you know, this ain't my saw. Where's all the, like, buckets of blood and... You oh, know, yeah, it took its... Took its sweet time getting around to that. I mean, it's literally, I call, I said in a tweet, it's a Law and Order Saw edition. It is, but not not even that good. Like, I like Law and yeah. Order. <laughs> but yeah, there is this kind yeah. of like Law and Order component to it. Like, it tries to address corruption and police departments, and but it's such a dated um, sense of police corruption. Like, yeah, the, I, we're in a new era where, where police corruption is more aimed at systemic um uh, racism which is a very very relevant topic right now and you're talking about um you know police and their their articles like i feel like it just came off of like 90s to me yeah Uh, i mean they even mentioned the wire right um sorry i just realized i had noise happening in the background that's Um, okay (laughs) yeah no it's just (laughs) <laughs> it, it just felt so dated with the, with the issue that it's addressing. And I think I would forgive that if we weren't in the middle of such a um, revolution when it comes to police reform. And it just isn't even addressing any of it. Like, they mentioned race because obviously they have Chris Rock and, uh, yeah. and, and Samuel L. Jackson, so race has to come up, but never in terms of like systemic racism and how that affects communities it's this old like you know oh a cop shot a witness and and the question he asks over and over again like it keeps repeating this question yeah the witness pulled a gun out on you and i'm thinking what gun the, there's yeah no, there's no gun okay so in the let, scene except for what the one he's holding <laughs> let me clarify that actually um so since it goes back to that five, that same flashback, I think five times. Yes, uh, a lot it, of times. Mm-hmm. In, in, tr- in true, true uh, Saw fashion, you can't have a Saw movie without a flashback. Of course. Um, uh, but um, they show, um, I, I will say that they show the, the gun being placed. Did they? Yeah. I, missed and, it. I think I was too busy just like, it's like a, it it's like a split second and you'll miss it kind of thing. Uh, hmm. Yeah, they only show it. Up, they only show it once in the flashbacks. Out of the several times they show it, um, they only show the act. They don't show the placing mm-hmm. until that like final thing. Yeah, can we talk about how awful of an actor Chris Rock is, or at least that, that he was in this movie? It's yeah, terrible. I, mm, yeah, I just didn't. Mm. No. <laughs> like, dude, if you are like, if you're like trying to prove how bad you can be, like, this is a step in the right direction. So, oh. so, okay. Riddle me this. Um, at, at, 
when does this take place? Oh, I imagine after all of the saws, um, well, because they reference Big Saw. Yeah. And they I say mean, that he's dead. But how many times has he died? So I guess there can be some gray area there. Like, because in Jigsaw, they say 10 years. But like, mm -hmm. Spiral looks like a film set in the 80s. But they have yes, cell phones. Yes. But they have cell phones, yep. That's exactly what it looks like. Like, and, they talk about a heat wave going on. And I'm like, OK, is that ever going to play into it? And it doesn't? No. Nope. Except for, well, I, I, I won't mention heat. Oh, no spoilers. <laughs> nope. But, um, but no, I, I, I think my main qualm with uh, Spiral is it is unimaginative to its core. Oh, yeah. And that's, like, I think a lot of these Saw movies are based on, like, having this revelating twist at the end. Um, and I just, I was going to the movie thinking there is no twist you can give me right now that is going to make me impressed with why this production had to happen. Um, and, and when it got to the twist, I was like, yep, that was not worth my time. Um, so let's address this. Oh, actually, no, let, go on. <laughs> um, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 that's, I mean, that's all I have to say. Like, it's just, it wasn't a big enough twist. I think that, um, at least not a big enough twist to warrant the production of a film. Because Saw ended, like, two times. I'm pretty yeah. sure. And, well, and, and the kind of. The, um, there have been a few. Yeah. Because at the end of Saw 3D, which is now called the Saw, Saw the Final Chapter, um, yeah. which, which confused me because I, I think I put it on the weekly schedule as uh, Saw 3D and Saw the Final Chapter review. <laughs> like right. I, put, I put them as uh, separate line items and I'm like, oh, uh -huh. I didn't realize they were the same thing. Because yeah, when I saw it, because uh, when I saw it, it was Saw 3D. Uh -huh. um, I don't think I saw it in 3D though. Anyways, um, but at the end of that movie, uh, Carrie... Els comes back, to Dr. Lawrence Gordon comes back, and it's revealed uh -huh. that he's, spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen Saw uh, mm -hmm. 1 through 7, he's, he's been helping Jigsaw ever since he escaped. Um, right. Right, right. Escaped at the end of Saw. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, for somehow. somehow. Amanda Young's mm -hmm. dead at this point. Um, Hoffman's dead at this point. Um, mm -hmm. well, I, I'm I'm even surprised I remember Hoffman's name. Um, <laughs> I, I I literally was like, oh, you know, Squareface is what I said last night. Um, mm -hmm. And then at Jigsaw, and at the end of Jigsaw, uh, oh, what's his name? Doctor Soldier guy. Um, the the mortician. Um, yeah. He escapes the game and it's left ambiguous from there. Mm -hmm. and, what's it, and what's interesting about uh, Spiral's production is it was supposed to be a direct sequel to uh, Jigsaw <sighs> origi or, or originally. Mm -hmm. but, then, but then Chris Rock got involved. Um, and it kind of. And we all kind of wonder why <laughs> did Chris Rock get involved? <laughs> I, I think not giving any spoilers. I think it. I, I think the plot tells you why he got involved. He's been pretty outspoken about reform and all that stuff. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, well, I, I mean, mean, maybe not outspoken, but you know, he's been. No, pretty you're right. Like I can, I can understand that, but it doesn't even address police corruption in the modern uh uh in the modern tense of what it is right now um yeah I don't, anyway i digress yeah um and i guess we get a mini review at this point um mm -hmm. but um but um i hesitate to call spiral a saw movie yes that's something that i was thinking about 
during the while I was watching it is is did did they give this the the Blair Witch treatment where they had a story and then I mentioned that last night molded it to a franchise. Yeah. Yeah. Because like I would I think I mentioned to my parents um like hey if they had just said this movie is spiral and uh-huh. not not giving you any clues and just at the end like okay pet peeve of mine uh-huh. because i've seen I, i've seen uh at yesterday i saw four saw movies i saw saw three four five and spiral jesus uh, all yeah. within an hour of each other um Oh, trust me, I don't recommend it. Your brain will literally <laughs> turn into mush. But mm-hmm. I, there is a formula to a Saw movie. Yes. Uh, someone fails a trap, the police investigate it, and that's their main thing. Uh, mm-hmm. There's a game, game going on at the same time that the police are investigating this. And mm-hmm. there's multiple reveals. Uh, and at the end of this, at the end of every Saw movie, there are, are the words mentioned, game over. In this mm-hmm. film, they do not mention the words game over at, at all. And mm-hmm. I was, I about lost it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they broke the formula. Because like, okay, not spoiling anything. They uh-huh. have Saw moments, but the, like, mm-hmm. they, like, they like juke from Saw. Like yeah, they're like. Uh, let's see, how can I dance around this? Um, I'll, I'll just talk about things that have that are in the trailer. Um, mm-hmm. There's a moment where Chris Rock is holding up a saw as he's handcuffed to a um, <laughs> pipe. <laughs> this was a, this is like the stupidest jab <laughs> at, at a previous installment in the, in a franchise. Like I just yeah. rolled my eyes at this. And literally, I, I don't think this is spoilers uh-huh. because it's it's such a minor thing. So he, minor, yeah. He he looks around the room and he finds a bobby pin and unlocks the thing. And st- like, why would you show me? I mean, the pla- So the place literally looks like the bathroom from Saw One. Yeah, the, it was clearly it was clearly a jab at like how simple a solution could have been for the first, for the whole. In fact, you know what? I actually kind of have a, 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 a like backhanded appreciation for this moment because it's like someone recognizing that this whole franchise just didn't need to happen. <laughs> well, and also like the thing, like Saw, the original Saw has gone down in my mind. I'll just spoil my Saw review um, mm. because in my mind, that one location served the original Saw well. Uh-huh. But like when you think about it, like 10 year, ten or so years later, eight, I think 18 or 19 years later, actually, um, uh-huh. um, it's like, no, he could, there's metal all around him. There's something he could use to jimmy the, mm-hmm. the, the lock open. Right. But it's, also, it's a, yeah. mm-hmm. no, it's, it's a plot hole. Uh, kind of like if you know how to pick a lock, then there's no reason to have sat there that whole movie. <laughs> like it just, I don't know. It, 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 it. As somebody had, who had watched three other Saw films that day, I was like, "Come on, man!" <laughs> uh, just I. But I, I will say, I am relieved that they didn't go in the. Hey, this is a semi reboot of Saw. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, that's cool. Because l- leading up to about 30 minutes before I saw the film, I thought this was going to be basically a remake of Saw 1. Mm. Yeah. Th- that um, it was good. It was going to start off copycat Jigsaw Killer. But, uh, but wait, Jigsaw's dead. Uh-huh. But then, like, it turns out. Jigsaw had its second contingency, like mm-hmm. maybe had a clone or something. I don't know. Saw <laughs> is weird. Um, yeah, had a clone. <laughs> I mean, like if he had enough contingencies, 
Because, okay, Saw 3 and Saw 4 somehow, somehow happen concurrently. Why? Why? Like, it, 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 like, just to tack on another 30 minutes to Saw 3 and you don't need Saw 4. Uh-huh. <laughs> because, like, Saw 4 is basically just flashback after flashback after flashback. Because you think uh-huh. at the beginning of the film, oh, they're doing the autopsy of John Kramer. He's dead. And then it's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, no. And then you get to the end, it's like, wait, but that's where Saw 3 ended. Uh-huh. And it's like, uh, oh, the timeline is so <laughs> weird. But anyways, getting back to Spiral, um, uh-huh. I, I think I, I, I the, the main thing I was frustrated with is that since this is the guy who directed the movie where a girl gets thrown into a pit of needles uh-huh. and has to, has to rip them out of her arm one by one uh-huh. um, in order to find a key. Um, a man who did that disgusting thing, who had uh-huh. Donnie Wahlberg smash his foot with a cinder block or whatever, that uh-huh. same guy has like a cut where they're like I want to play a game then they don't see the rest of the game until like mm-hmm. later mm-hmm. well later and I'm like no no and yeah. there's like a trap here that is so unimaginative I I about walked out <laughs> it, uh, all I'll say is it involves a faucet mm. <laughs> that was very unimaginative. Yeah. It's like, okay, like, respect, respect, respect is due. Jigsaw, mm. like, planned every single part of his thing out. He was like, okay, if this person dies, then then they can't go, go forward because that person had... Well, you, like, know what I, you know what I found fascinating about these situations is that there was a either do this really horrific thing and live or die. And the, yeah. very, the one thing I did find kind of fascinating, but ultimately entirely um, meaningless, um, is that the victims did the act and then died. Yeah. Uh, which, and I, I, I'm not that well versed in the Saw universe. I'm, I, I, I don't care enough. So I don't know if that's if there was some intentionality behind that, like if there was some kind of messaging or throwback or reference. Um, but I did notice, like, okay, well, that person they were supposed to do this and they would live, but they waited too long and they died. They did it and then died. So this person, um, you know, was supposed to do this, and so he agreed, but the trap just didn't go fast enough, and and he still died. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So you mentioned like people not still. Uh, be, like doing the thing and then still dying. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the thing that happens with Hoffman, a, a disciple of Jigsaw. I'm mm-hmm. very well versed now because I've seen Saw, Saw 1 through 5 again mm-hmm. in, in the span of like three days. Um, right. Anyways, um, so like Jigsaw's whole point was like they have to escape. Like mm-hmm. they have to have a way to escape, but Hoffman would just like kill people. Mm-hmm. And I think the point they're making in Spiral is that these are mercy killings, like uh, almost like assassinations mm-hmm. um, rather than, you know, a message because the message has always been like, if you escape this room, you have been reformed. But mm-hmm. like for cops that, <laughs> it just mm-hmm. doesn't work. For me it doesn't mm-hmm. work i just like what does electrocution have to do with cop stuff mm-hmm. oh well actually i know I, I i figured it out but anyways i it, it I, I remember what the whole thing that whole thing was about but mm-hmm. still i mean like like be imaginative like have somebody reach into a Pit of acid. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Wait. Like, just do something. <laughs> like, this is the my first time back to the movies since New Mutants. 
I sat in mm-hmm. the exact same seat that I saw, sat in in New Mutants. Uh, exactly. The two times you went to a movie during the pandemic and it was those two? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang. That's rough, rough. Uh, others have, <laughs> like others I've gotten screeners for and like I don't, for the HBO Max stuff, I'm not going to mm-hmm. theaters for that because mm-hmm. I can just watch it here. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, because I'm not going to watch those. I'm not going to pay $17 for those who wish me, wish me dead. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll pay the $14.99 a month, but I won't mm-hmm. pay the $17 a, a ticket because, but anyways, like if I'm sitting down paying $17 for a ticket, I want the goriest things I've ever seen in my life. Mm-hmm. I want, th- I, I want things that will keep me up at night. Um, so yeah, I just um, th- that that was one aspect in which Spiral kind of just didn't do it for me. Right. So, so anyways, that. that that is my saw rant. There it is. Yep. And with that, I am going to have to hop off. It's breakfast okay. time. But okay. this is fun. Um, yeah, I'll be yeah. doing a, a uh, part two the last week of uh, okay. May. Yeah, send me an invite, uh, either through uh, Twitter or you can send me a calendar invite too, that would work. Okay, yeah, I'll, so. I'll create it after we hop off, um, yeah. just so you can have it for yeah. however long. All right. Yeah, as long as I just have record of it, that would, that would help. <laughs> All right. Cool. Hey, yeah, Austin, so this was fun. We'll talk yep. soon, okay? All right. See you soon. <laughs>